What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Beware Bass coming at you again with another one on the road again. Driving over to my dad's house for a little Father's Day fishing session. Uh, I'm gonna go out to Casca and lock some leaves. Try to catch up some of those giant smallmouth they got out there. It's Father's Day today, so my pops decided he wanted to go fishing. I'm never opposed to that. <laughs> so we're gonna get out here, hit the road when I get there. I'm a little bit late, it's 5.32, I was supposed to be there by 5.30. Every YouTuber runs late, don't they? No, unfortunately, uh, it's been a long weekend for me. And I am so ready to fish. So we're gonna get over here, get the stuff in the car, get the stuff in the boat, and get on the road. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment. Let's, let's try to get like 20 likes on this video, guys. That'd be dope. But hopefully you guys enjoy, and we'll see you there. started. Take that. Bigger than a Willamette. Bigger than a Willamette all day long. <laughs> I caught one bigger than that the other day. Not a bad fish though. Weird little black spot down there on the bottom. Or is it just because he's pooping on himself? He's pooping on himself. Later on, old dude. You know what time it is. Mystery Tackle Box Pro. Let's see what's in this guy. Got a football head jig. I'm not gonna name off names, just football head jig. You guys can see it from there. What is this, a 3 eighths of an ounce? Got a little crankbait, a little Norman crankbait. Try that on right now. Oh wow, did they give me one with a little defect right there, huh? <laughs> Got us another crankbait. I like crankbaits. And we got some uh, Cinco's. I don't know if you guys can see those very well. It's shine, it's kind of crazy. You'll see them when I pull them out. Some yum, weird, big eyed, fishy things. <laughs> Throw them on the drop shot, see if I can catch one. Let's see what else we got. That's a jerk bait. A deep dive and jerk bait. And some little some hooks for probably a drop shot or those Cinco's. As always. Your little dibbles tips, as they used to call the dibble digest with little dibble tips. Give you a bunch of tips on how to fish those baits and get in the box. And as always, a sticker. A little measure of fish today. A little measuring tape up here. That's what's in this month's box. It actually doesn't look half bad to be honest with you. I am going to designate one rod to fish in this stuff. I think I'm going to start with this guy. Let's start with that guy. 
see if we can't catch one on him. Uh, let's see if we can find a depth on how deep he dives. Doesn't say. All right, well, he's getting tied on anyways. Right where he's supposed to be, right on the middle. Right over the top. Dick's a little fish too. Yeah. Right where he's supposed to be. Yeah. Getting beat up on Right, right. He said it looked like the buoy was moving up river. <laughs> oh, that's a much better fish right there. Later on, fishy. There's one. Okay. One down. One down. <laughs> Folks weren't that good. I broke one. <laughs> oh, bad little battle fish. Later on, dude. Completely broke that one right off. I don't even know where it went. Oh, one lure down. Trying to move on. Change up. Go this little Norman. Oops, all right. Please turn around. Oh, you got a nice one, too. That's a nice one, too. Big shad. <laughs> oh, it's definitely a fish. I saw your rod tip. Oh, you hooked him in the side. Squawfish. Squawfish in the side. My advice, guys, when you pull these lures out of the mystery tackle box, change the hooks. He's just slapping at it like a dummy. That's sucker fish, not even a squawfish. One hook, you know them hooks are sharp. Ooh, spinner. Surprised the bird's not back on his nest, just squawking at them. There's one. All right, two baits out the way. Now on to the hard ones. <laughs> Oop. Later on, dude. Throw this a little bit more. 
Um, playing with this camera. Right. Real sounds like it's getting dangerous. Wish you could still find those darn things. Just bought a bunch of them back in the day. There's one. Acrobatic, huh? Little baby, little baby. This is the one I want an underwater release. Hey, buddy. A little male. But you still got that stuff in there for, bud? It's not a bad fish. They're growing. Day update. So far, so good. Caught a bunch of smallies between the three of us. Uh, nothing real giant. Caught a couple twos, maybe a two and a half. Fishing another stretch where there could potentially be some really big fish. Hopefully, we can get into a really big one before the day's over, maybe like a three and a half, four pounder. That'd be nice. Uh, beautiful day. Couldn't beat it. Sunny, probably like what 80 degrees. Look at them, carp, big carp, magic carp. But yeah, probably about sunny. Well, probably about sunny. You know, it is sunny <laughs> and 80 degrees out here. Got a little breeze, breeze just picked up. Been fishing for five hours or so, just trying to get on a Get on a big girl. We can get a big girl. That would complete the day. Yeah, Phil's on. Uh, Side of the boat. <laughs> Little drop shot bass. Yeah. Nice. Well, you know what that means. Time to get back in the water catch me some so i will see you guys at the end of the day hope you guys are enjoying it so far i'm out Look at that one. That is an absolute giant. He did. I felt him on there too. I'm trying to fight. Ooh, thank you, bud. That is a absolute tank. Oh man. I'm gonna put him closer to the camera. Stunt. <laughs> Small. Big. Small, big, gone. Got him. Hey, buddy. 
Marcus, are you? You want that D bomb, you? Hey you now, it's a better fish. Take that one. You can go free.